What's up, Bobcats? We're here with the Athlete of the Week, Terrell Harris, for a dominant, outrageous, stunning performance. Uh, opening weekend of GC men's basketball versus Emmanuel College and Pfeiffer, where you dropped 29 and 32 points. I mean, dude, you're on fire. Uh, I feel like I'm about to get scorched up just sitting next to you. What's caused you to turn up this beginning of the season? Um, man, I, uh, this summer I put a lot of work and um, time into my game. Um, I took care of my body, changed up my diet. Um, a lot of work, a lot of work. Um, thousands of shots that I shot with a few teammates this past summer. Um, I improved my handling that I think I worked on that a lot. I know that would have been a big focus um, since last season um, coming into the summer. Um, just playing more, com the confidence has always been there, but just playing more like, okay, I know this is my last year, so got to give it all I got and um, just lead this team day in and day out, every day, every night, every day, every practice. Rock and roll, man, and talking about changing that diet up, I may have to hit you up after the video and maybe get some notes. You know, I can change some things up myself. You're talking about it your last year. What's changed being uh, the, the senior, maybe a leader now in the games, in the locker room? What's that like for you? Um, it's like almost like a do-or-die situation. Uh, you know you got young fellas looking up to you and um, just um, you got you can't let them down. So just showing um, your work ethic and showing them like, okay, uh, this is not high school anymore. Uh, it's more than just playing basketball. Now you got to eat, sleep, basketball. You know what I mean? So just showing them my work ethic, taking a lot of guys under my wings, such as Chaz Berry, uh, Trey Williams, Isaac, um, just showing them the way. So I know when I leave here and they can step up and I know they're going to be seniors one day, one, one day so they can um, follow my footsteps and hopefully teach the younger guys that's coming up under, up under them. So, yeah. Cool. I like it. I like it. You're dominant on the court. You're rock and roll. I was, I got, I'm normally sitting up in the booth. I got to watch it from courtside yesterday. Man, you're on fire. I'm going to have to take some notes, too, from that. Maybe step up my basketball game. Uh, not really. I'm a tall 5'7". Uh, what? I mean, when did you know you were going to take basketball to the next level of college, maybe get some education out of it? Um, well, I didn't start playing basketball. I was a late bloomer. I started uh, organized basketball as an eighth grader from Murray Middle School. Um, started off at Martin County High School. But then when I transferred to DeWire, um, Coach Fred Ross, shout out to Coach Ross. Um, man, just when, once I got to DeWire, I seen the, the amount of work that you have to put in to take basketball to the next level. And by my father, uh, Till Harris, making that move to get us down at DeWire, I knew, okay, this is now got to take this um, dream and turn it into a reality. So I knew as long as I worked hard and took care of basketball. I know it's going to take care of me in the long in the long run. So, yeah, I would say probably my 11th grade year and started getting some recruiting. Um, I was a little under-recruited, but um, had a good senior year, won the state championship my senior year, and I knew college didn't start calling and rolling in from there. So, yeah. Very cool. That was That's inspiring stuff. I like that. I like that. Young guys pay attention right there. Hard work. You take the ball to the rim. I love it. You, you get up there. You just hang time, man. You're floating around in the air. What NBA player, professional basketball player, would you say reflects your game the most? Um, I haven't never really thought of that. Uh, everyone knows why, why I wear two four. Uh, Kobe Bryant, I think the greatest. Yeah, greatest. I think more of my generation, greatest of my generation. But um, man, um, Demar Derozan. I, I think my game is similar to Demar Derozan. Um, he can shoot it as well as get to the rack. Um, I'm not as athletic, of course, as Demar Derozan, but. Uh, yeah, um, he's a high efficient player. I'm a, a very high efficient player on the uh, offensive end, um, and can play D on the wings and long. Can play the de uh, defense on the wing, but yeah, I, I haven't. I actually never actually um, compared myself to like any, any other NBA players. I watched Kobe Bryant. I watched Kevin Durant. Um, I'm a huge fan of Steph Curry. What he's doing for the NBA right now is unreal. Um, just a fan of that guy on and off the court. I think he's a perfect role model for kids to look up to. I know I look up to on myself and um but yeah cool all right here the personal question million dollar question for anyone as a senior in college uh, getting ready to be done right. what's next um well right now um finishing up uh I have two classes left and intern I, I will be interning in the spring and um hopefully i can get into the mat program here and start my master's but um as basketball wise uh just i want to just finish the um, season on a good note um, I try not to look that far ahead as in in season, but I, I mean, I do have goals or whatnot, but as long as um, I take care of this team and lead this team back to the NCAA tournament, I believe I'll be able to reach my goals. So um, professional basketball presents itself. I'm yeah, more than likely going to take the opportunity and I'm definitely going to pursue it when um, it's all said and done. So, yeah.
Very cool. Well, Bobcats, that's Troy Harris, Bobcat Athlete of the Week, also Peach Belt Athlete of the Week. Outstanding performance last week, and he's been electrifying. The Bobcats are back in action Friday, November 20th, against Albany State, 730. Check out the Bobcats, and for more information on anything Georgia College sports, visit gcbobcats.com.